Alright everyone, it's Cloudy here. Today I would like to give a lecture, well it's more of an exploration than a lecture, where I'm going to look at one aspect of love that not many people actually talk about and not many people want to analyze and not many people want to even look into. And of course we are going to link our analysis back to beating love but that's kind of miles away for a minute how many of you here have fallen in love oh my god a lot yeah i bet there are not all of you maybe but some of you yeah now how many of you know someone who loved somebody and their lover passed away you might be thinking, Claudia, what the hell are you talking about? Like, this is the most painful thing you've ever talked about. Like, why are you bringing this up? I am bringing it up because it is very painful. I know. No tears. No tears, anyone. It is very painful. But it's more painful when you don't analyze it. When you don't look deeply into what's actually happening. So, it's an irreversible loss, isn't it? You broke up, that's different. That's still existing people, but there's still a reversible connection. If not permanently, but you can still get back together and split up again and go around the cycle. But when somebody dies, that's different. That's obviously you can't bring back a life. Now, many people deal with this in different ways but most commonly people just try to replace relationships say if somebody had a girlfriend and she died they'd be crying for a while they'd be heartbroken they'd be dying but then they find themselves another girlfriend now do you think that's right to replace a relationship i've analyzed this for a very long time I've looked deeply into this and the results I came up with are no it's not you cannot replace a relationship get real people like can you replace a family member for example somebody may have lost a relative and now they're just gonna go and replace that relative find themselves another relative impossible the same thing with love you cannot love somebody just as much as you loved the person who died you can only truly love once you cannot purely love somebody more than one times you can't that's just not what your heart is ever willing to do and you can't make yourself love somebody twice you can't even you can't even make yourself fall in love twice in general you can only truly fall in love once that's it if you're just running from people to people that means you didn't love that person in the first place and in the way maybe you're glad they died because now you can run to somebody else but if you have truly loved them and they passed away and you still love them you are going to love them even when they are not there you're still gonna love them and you can't make your heart stop loving them and love somebody else that's just not possible that's just as i said you can't replace a family member in the same way you can't replace a loved one and linking this back to beating love all right you were in love that love may have been real to you may not have been real to them but you can't analyze it now because the other person is no longer there you can't analyze it you can't look at that love you had 
it was real in your mind, it is real in your mind, it will, it will remain real in your mind. But when we're trying to beat love, and yet we still want to replace that relationship, when we're trying to replace that relationship, we're seeking love. And although we know that we can't fall in love, we're seeking for somebody to fall in love with us, we're still seeking for love. Now, is seeking love beating love? That doesn't even sound right. When we're seeking love, are we beating love in any way? No, we're not. And what's our mission? What we're aiming for? Are we aiming to seek love around here? Or are we aiming to beat love around here? We are aiming to beat love, remember. And when we're talking about beating love, we're talking about getting rid of all this relationship nonsense. Because remember what it is that we're trying to get rid of. Violence because of love. STD because of love. People dying because of love. And again, referring back to what we've just talked about, people dying because of love. They could be dying to save your life. Now, how can you go fall in love with somebody else when they've died to save your life? And many things like that happen when we fall in love. When we love somebody, we do wish to die for them. We wish to give up anything for them. And it's not our fault because that's just how love works. That's just, that's just part of us loving them. But it is our fault, however, that we fell in love in the first place. And this is why we want to beat love. We want to get rid of it because many people are dying for love. Do you see how the population is going down? Now, I know what you might be saying. There are political problems. There are global problems and things like that. But love is almost like a worldwide bug that just kills, kills and kills. And just like every bug, love needs to be beaten. A S A P. I'm hoping I made myself very clear in this lecture. If there's anything you don't understand, you know what to do. Hit me up and we'll we will analyze the ideas and we talk about it. But for now, I'd like to wish you best of luck and hoping to speak to you all in the next lecture.